There's something special about these trees. It's the way they look, the character they have, the presence they have in the landscape, the smell, the touch, the feel. There's no other trees like them. These trees have spirit. They've got presence. When people meet these trees, they can't help but be filled with a sense of awe. They are elders in the landscape. There isn't anybody I've brought here who doesn't feel it. There's something that makes people feel they have a relationship to these trees that touches people in a special way. This is Lutrawitta, Tasmania. And these are Wailina, cider gums, the weeping trees. fires came through here in January 2019. They were huge and burned for weeks. This is the Five Rivers Reserve in the Central Highlands. The Great Pine Tear fire burned nearly half of it, around 11,000 hectares. Five Rivers is the Tasmanian Land Conservancy's biggest reserve. It's got a great range of habitat. There's old growth forests and woodlands, native grasslands and alpine heathland. It also has these really cool endangered sphagnum moss beds. It's full of wildlife, some of which doesn't live anywhere but Tasmania. It's home to Tasmanian devils, eastern quolls, Tasmanian wedge-tailed eagles and the Clarence Galaxus fish. And of course, there are cider gums. The TLC has been looking after Five Rivers Reserve since 2008. It was a commercial logging property, but we were lucky enough to buy it at auction and turn it into a nature reserve. Since 2013, we've had 100 fixed monitoring sites set up across the property. We monitor the health of plants and animals across the property. We look for changes over time. When the fire went through, the cider gums were top of our list of species to check on. It was pretty bad for the cider gums. The fire had burned hot through the top marshes and killed a lot of the mature trees. But it wasn't all bad news. There was new growth re-sprouting from some trees. Seedlings also germinated in the ash beds left by the fire, which was very exciting because you almost never see cider gum seedlings. But they weren't likely to grow back without help. Cider gum's young growth is very tasty. The sugary sap that keeps these trees alive through freezing winters also makes their leaves delicious. And there are loads of animals on Five Rivers Reserve that love to eat cider gums. I've been a field officer with the TLC for about three and a half years. I'm a passionate fly fisherman, so that's what attracted me to the highlands of Tasmania. One thing led to another, from environmental tourism work to doing conservation projects with volunteers, and then stepping into this reserves officer position. I really do like the conservation angle, Money is not so important to me, but the passion is there for me to try and protect this environment. Most of the time I'm on my own. It suits me 
I'm a bit of a solo person. And being on your own, it helps you to slow down. And I find when you do slow down, you see a lot more detail. And that's when you pick up uh, signs like the tracks of a quad bike or a car that shouldn't be there, or even some animal behavior that's a little bit out of place. Science has its place, and this complements the science. Just having someone spending time here on the land, they get to see the subtle changes, like even if it's from week to week, and then from season to season, or even from year to year. We cage the cider gums to keep the browsing animals out. Building cages takes heaps of work and we really couldn't do it by ourselves, so uh, we get help from volunteers. We enjoy working with the volunteers. It's always good fun and they bring enthusiasm and a different perspective and they also work really hard. People who volunteer develop some ownership of the land and it's often the volunteers that draw our attention to an emerging problem. So the volunteers, they're critical to the success of managing the property. The cages were originally capped with wire uh, to protect the cider gums from possums mainly, but we've now switched those caps for floppy tops so the cider gums can grow tall and beyond the cages. The hope is that eventually they'll replace those big mature trees that died. The result after two years is astounding. The gums that we didn't cage aren't doing so well. They're being heavily browsed by possums, wombats, wallabies and deer. Uh, they are struggling to survive. Most of the cider gums are now reaching the top of the cages and they're growing really well. They're actually in, in excellent health. I hope that in 500 years, this is still a natural preserved ecosystem. We're just helping it to do its own thing. I'm really glad that it won't be logged again and that it won't ever be mine. I just want it to be a natural forest.